Okay, this is Mr. Coombe. How are you doing? Uh, here's another gas stoichiometry question. I really like this question, so pause this question um, and pause this video, sorry, to read the question. And let's solve it. So here, in order to actually find out what's going on, first and foremost, you are going to need a reaction. So we have um, octane, octane vapor, so C8 H18 gas, and we combust it in complete combustion. You combust it, and whenever you have a combustion, it's going to be in oxygen gas. And whenever you have a complete combustion, because you can have incomplete combustion, whenever you have complete combustion of any hydrocarbon, any um, alkane, so we have uh, octane in this particular example, you're going to produce carbon dioxide and water vapor. So you're going to produce carbon dioxide gas and water vapor. This uh, reaction is obviously unbalanced, so this one's going to be a little bit tricky to balance. Uh, one, because we have odd number of oxygens on one side, whereas you have even number of oxygens on the other side. But first off, if we are to um, at least balance this here, we're going to need usually to double this, and whatever, um, how many hydrogens we have here, then we'll probably have to double that. So, um, on the left-hand side there are 18, on the, the right-hand side there are only 2. So if I put, um, so technically there would probably be only 9 H2s, but if we double it because there's, gun, because there's odd numbers here, because we don't want odd numbers of oxygens, because we have O2s here. So if we double that to 18 here, it's going to be 18 H2s here. So then we're going to need to at least double this side. So on this side, we just doubled the uh, octane. So we now have um, eight twos, uh, 16 carbon. So there's going to be at least 16 carbon dioxides. And here we have, we have now nine O2s. So 18 divided by two, nine O2s plus 16 O2s, which would make it 25 O2s. And here we go, a balanced equation. So first and foremost, we know, let's put in green, that the volume of our C8H18 is 25 litres, 25.0 litres of our octane. So in order, to, in order to figure out how much, first off, oxygen we have, let's find out, um, because they're all gases, so the volume, the volume is going to change in the same ratio as the molar ratio. So the volume of our oxygen is going to be 25 divided by 2 times the volume of our C8H18, which is around about 312.5 litres. Now, if air is about 20.9% oxygen, then what we can do we can go 312.5 litres divided by the percentage that it is, 20.9%, and multiply that by 100 to get us the full actual volume. Because if 312.5 is 20.9%, 20 what is the full 100%? The full 100% should be around about 1,495 litres or rounded to three decimal places, it would actually be around about 1500 litres of actual air, which the major component of it is going to be nitrogen. So there's only a little bit of oxygen in air. Very good. So now let's do uh, part B. Now the uh, volume of each of the products, so we produce carbon dioxide and uh, water vapour. So we're going to use the same ratio. So let's put this in a uh, yellow. So we're going to use the same ratio. So if we know that the, we want to know the volume of our carbon dioxide, so the ratios are going to be the same. So it's going to be 16 over 2 times the volume of acetylene, uh, sorry, of octane, of octane, which is 25 liters, and that is going to be 200 liters. And the volume of our water vapor is going to be 18 divided by 2 or 9 times 25 litres, which is going to be 225 litres of water vapour. 
And here we go, problem solved.